All right. Excellent. Um, good evening. Today is May 23rd, 2022. It is 6.30 p.m. Uh, we are meeting at 6.30. We do have an executive session. I need to first read a statement regarding OPMA. This meeting is being called pursuant to the provisions of the Open Public Meetings Law. This meeting of May 23rd, 2022 was included in the list of meetings notice sent to the Huntington County Democrat and Courier News on January 5th, 2022, posted on the bulletin board at Borough Hall on that date and has remained continuously posted as required. In addition, a copy of this notice is and has been available to the public and is on file in the office of the borough clerk. We do have an executive session this evening. If we could have a motion on resolution 2022, to, actually Sally, call the roll call first. I'm so sorry, I'm all out of storage because I'm not in my right seat. Uh, Mayor Driver? Here. Ms. Hand? Here. Mr. Johnston? Here. Mr. Long? Here. Mr. Parker is absent. Ms. Rossetti? Here. Ms. Tilly? Here. Okay. And that's an excused absence, Sally, for Mr. Parker? Yeah, yeah, he's away. He's out of town. Um, if we could have a motion on resolution 2022-127 entering into executive session for the purpose of interviewing a candidate for the position of borough clerk slash business administrator. So we'll move. Handle Long second. Step. All right, Ms. Hand? Yes. Mr. Johnston? Yes. Mr. Long? Yes. Ms. Rossetti? Yes. Ms. Tilly? Yes. All right, we are now going into executive session at 6.33 p.m. Excellent, I just wanna make note to everybody that we're kind of scattered all over the place. Tony is absent. Um, Liz and Jess are not in the council meeting room, nor am I due to various states of sickness and other things going on. Uh, my camera will likely be off for most of this meeting, but I'll have my microphone muted as well, so you don't have to listen to me cough up a lung. Um, but I'll be here, so if you need anything, just give me a shout. Uh, so Sally, go ahead and call, pause the recording. Yeah. Yeah. Great. Um, good evening. This is, uh, we've just come out of the executive session. Hold on a second, Becky, the door's not open. Oh. Now we're open. Okay. <laughs> uh, good evening. We have just come wrapping up uh, an executive session where we're interviewing a candidate for third special administrator. Uh, we're now going into the work session. We do have a work session, and my apologies for those who are here from the work session. Uh, with the Huntington County Governing <laughs> Officers Association and uh, the Governing Officers Association uh, President Paul Muir, who's also the mayor of Clinton Township, and Vice President Michael Humphrey, who is on council up in Clinton Town. Uh, so welcome, Paul and Mike, and the uh, floor is yours. If you want to, uh, Sally, we need to turn on two cameras, the applicant camera, as well as the public view meeting camera. Excellent. Hey guys, welcome. The floor is yours. We're going to hear, hear about the Huntington County <laughs> Governing Officers Association. Um, and again, I will introduce. Uh, uh, Paul Muir, he's the uh, Huntington County Governing Officers Association president. Paul's also the mayor of Bethlehem Township and uh, Vice President Michael Humphrey, who is the also on council up in Clinton Town. So tell us all about HCCOA, gentlemen. But first, I appreciate your time. We're all mixed up. We're all over the place tonight. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, okay. I appreciate your time, and uh, as I said, this is my first time here for a while, so uh, it's so awesome. Yeah, yeah so it's fun. I've been with you quite a bit, and I've uh, been elected for it's my 12th year. I haven't been here, so thank you. As I, I love the room. Uh, so I appreciate your time. So we're, we're really trying to get the Hunter County Elect Governing Officials Association restarted. Last year, we had uh, kind of a, a happy year, and then I was interim president. All the roles were interim, so 
uh, we're, we're back in, in full effect this year. We're, we're really just trying to get the word out the best way that we can. And so that's, you know, in person is, is the best way. So we appreciate your time again. Uh, the key is we're looking to create an association for, for all elected officials within Hunter County and also professionals. So, uh, you know, municipal attorneys and, and engineers can also join the planners. But the key is really for the elected officials. And so we really want to take the politics out of local government and sit down together and talk about the topics that, that are all impacting us and figuring out how to do that best together um, and opening up those conversations and creating paths to better serve all of our residents. Uh, and, and that's the key. And then we had one our kind of reorganization meeting this year. Uh, I would say it was very uh, informal. We had some great conversations uh, about, about politics and taking it out and about some of the things that would impact our town. Uh, we try to meet on the fourth Tuesday of every month because that was what is most free for everybody's meeting. So it was June 28th is the next meeting. Uh, without looking, so if it's a if the date's wrong, I apologize, but it's the fourth Tuesday. And uh, we do try to move them around the county. So uh, we haven't chosen the location for that yet, uh, but we just we do want to make them uh, available and easy for everybody uh, to do. It's usually a dinner. Um, so that's why, again, it's more so that uh, we'll try to have a presenter, but it's not a very formal have a dinner, buy some drinks, there's some networking in the beginning, and uh, people can enjoy time together. And then again, get to know each other so that if I have an issue, there's something that, that you're doing here in Flemington, I think is really great. And I want to implement it up in Bethlehem. I know I can call up and say, hey, how does that work? Uh, can you put point me in the right direction? Yeah, I think... Uh... You know, there are issues that individual towns uh, would have a hard time, if not impossible, to solve that can be solved when coming together with other with other towns. Uh, at our most recent meeting, we had uh, yeah, at our most recent meeting, we had uh, Mark Salad um, with the now it's Department of Economic Development and Tourism for the county. Um, and he was talking about that he was rolling out the tourism plan that they had, um, which, you know, they already did the. They already have the, the 579 trail. Uh, they were rolling out the, the beer trail, which I still need to do. Um, Maybe that, Andrew make that uh, government officials. I think so. Trip. I haven't done that. <laughs> <laughs> but um, but he was talking about uh, you know kind of a developing a master plan for tourism um, that would bring in people from all around the region, get them to know how their county is, and get them to stop at the. The areas like Flemington and Clinton and Lambertville and Frenchtown and other places, right? You spend a whole weekend. And that's just one of many ideas. After Ida, we, we had a, a pretty long discussion about how towns were, were, were getting by, uh, you know, the, the issues that they were dealing with, uh, and so on. I mean, the, the great thing is the conversations are a little unpredictable and they're just brought up by people who are there, um, but they drive some great conversations and, and the learning environments, but more importantly, now I know a lot more people that I can contact because I'm not the smartest person in the room. So I like to look for the person who is, you know. And, and if there is an issue that we need to advocate for, this is, uh, I would say, sanctioned by the New Jersey League of Municipalities. So it's like your county league. And so, you know, I find Hunter County, a lot of times we, we get forgotten because we're all, all groupings of smaller towns. But if we're coming there and saying we represent, you know, all 26, if there's an issue that five or six have, I think it gives us a lot more capacity to approach either a legislature or utility or some other entity that we might have an issue with uh, than, than just one town alone does. And so that's, uh, I think, a phenomenal benefit, especially uh, for me in Bethlehem, people forget we're up there in the northern part of the county, so it's great to, to work with others. Do you guys have a website or something that we can follow or look for like updated meeting information or how do we get involved? We should set up a Facebook. I was just saying, yeah, we haven't set up a website. I think a Facebook page is what we're going to go with. And uh, so well, I would so much, we do have an executive director. Yes. He's the executive director for, um, for Sunset County, for Warren County. And then uh, this is the third one that he does. He, he helps us arrange the meetings, uh, get communications out. Um, Things of that nature. No, I, I think. Well, I understand. And it's that's a one. I don't know anybody who's has been around for quite some time. He's mayor of Rocky Hill up in Somerset. I think he's running actually again this year after uh, some time off. But um, <clears throat> the, the, I think a lot of the emails you may have seen emails from us, but they're from Ed. And so, uh, okay, we, so that yeah, yeah, I have seen those. Yes, and, and, I've, and I've asked that as you know from now on. Like we haven't said, I guess we're going to meet in June. So for the next meeting, mm -hmm. the email will probably come from me uh, because this way. I think not that everybody knows me, but at least they'll see maybe a hundred county name that you affiliate, and then hopefully, so I think we have some other councils that are gracious enough to allow us in, so they'll kind of connect that with our name. Uh, 
And yeah, we hadn't set up the website, but I think social media is the best place to start. We'll probably make it a closed group um, and just send something out so that you join because we're not looking for public comment. We're just looking to be able to get information out amongst uh, ourselves so we can meet uh, efficiently. And like I said, if there is a call to action, we can put it on there too, in addition to the emails. Yeah. Is there a fee to join? There's not. No. The other thing is, if you come to the dinner, you're responsible for covering your own costs. A lot of the municipalities do a voucher, we do accept vouchers. Uh, and so that's only the only cost is wherever it is for dinner. We try to find places that are reasonable. So it's usually like $30 at the most. And that'll include mm -hmm. gratuity and everything. Great. Yeah. yeah, it's good. So I was at a couple of the organizing meetings, but unfortunately, the fourth Tuesday is also planning board for Flemington Borough. Which is why I dropped off. Um, so, but that doesn't mean council members can't go. Hint, hint. Yeah, that's what I was going to ask. If I was interested. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Sure. No, please. No, that's just for all elected officials. We're not, okay. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm interested. <laughs> <laughs> so, so look for the end of June. And, uh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, I know yeah. we've talked about yeah. this years yes. ago yes. down at uh, Lansing City. Yeah, yeah. So, Hunter yeah. County had. Uh, Association probably about 10 years ago. And so uh, I was like Commissioner Van Doren was, I mean, he was a committee person. He was on it then. And he stuck around as kind of like, uh, as, as our past president, even though it's a 10 year hiatus. But it's nice to just kind of have that connection. And then he kind of, you know, can share with us you know, the successes and the challenges from then. And really, right now, the biggest challenge is getting the word back out, especially coming off. We, you know, we started this still during the pandemic. So uh, we had some in person meetings last year, but the comfort level wasn't always there. So hopefully, we're getting, you know, more comfortable coming out, meeting in person, and uh, getting the word out about the group. Are you looking for just like mayor and council or board of education as well? We're trying to keep the board of ed out. Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. <laughs> yeah. We, well, well, they've got their own problems. We, we might have a discussion of how it impacts our town. We can have a, a candid discussion as elected like officials. That's one of the topics that the mayor is talking about. Um, so, uh, this way, it's, it's there for, for our conversations. So, yeah, but as he mentioned before, um, you know, the other professionals, that uh, serve towns um, uh, definitely invite it because it gives us perspective and, and be able to answer questions. Because you know we're, we're council members we're we're, uh, we're not the experts, you know. So it's it's good to have them there. Yeah. Is there an approval process for some of those subcontractors? Actually, not officially, but that's part of the capacity too. Is uh, as we have more members, if somebody has an issue with somebody, I'm I'm sure we would address it. Okay. We have a few municipal attorneys at this point, but no, no, not a lot of other professionals have been coming out yet. Okay. Yeah, they come out, have them sponsor the dinner. No, <laughs> <laughs> what, what is the meeting? At? So we rotate them through the county. So we haven't set. So June twenty uh, eighth is the next meeting, but we haven't set a location yet. So we'll get that out probably. I'm, I'm hoping next week we'll figure out a, a location. Yeah, we've had um, three months ago. We had it over at the. Um, the Rock, um, yeah, to New York, oh, to New York. New York yeah. Um, uh, and then we had it at Spain. Up yeah, in I dragged everybody to the organization <laughs> to Bethlehem to Spain, and uh, we were at Pino's in the uh, township. Uh, so, but we do try to make it around the county. So we'll probably try to push this next one closer to this area, or maybe look even South County and see what we come up with. Good. Nice. If you need a contact, you can always email me information and I can get it out to the council if that's the easiest for you. Thank you for your time. Thank Just you. Like, what time do you guys meet? Uh, like, seven ish? Sure. Yeah, I think uh, we, we usually do like a cocktail an hour from 6 30 to 7 for okay. public networking. And then, and then the restaurants kind of work with us, like, for when they bring food out for speakers. So, speakers usually start from 7 to 7 20. It's not a drawn out presentation. Then we ask questions, and whoever our presenter is stays is usually for the dinner. So there's open conversation after that. Perfect. And they're usually wrapped up last year. We usually wrap up about nine o'clock at the most. It depends on how social, how many questions people have for each other. Awesome. Excellent. Yeah. Well, I'm glad it's during non working hours because I find that there's so many things <laughs> yeah. after that. I can't do it. <laughs> well, it? Yeah, that was great. Thank, thank, you. thank you very much. I look forward to seeing you all, all out there. And you will be here. Yeah, yeah sure. I'm off my land board meeting, but we've been tree or that Paul? So, that last it's like a oh, check down. Yes. 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 Thank you for your time. It's always good to see you, Paul. It was good to see you, Michael. Thank you very much for your time. Paul, Thanks thank for coming, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so we're going to go in and adjourn for uh, eight minutes, and we'll be back at 7.30. Sally, if you could pause the recording. Yeah. 
Good evening, everybody. Today is May 23rd, 2022. This is the regular council meeting of the Mayor and Common Council, the Borough of Flemington. This meeting is being held in conformance with the Open Public Meetings Act, and it's being its meeting of May 23rd, 2022, was included in a list of meetings notice sent to the Huntington County Democrat. Courier News on January 5th, 2022, posted on the bulletin board at Borough Hall on that date and has remained continuously posted as required. In addition, a copy of this notice is and has been available to the public and is on file in the office of the borough clerk. We did have an executive session earlier uh, for the purpose of interviewing a candidate for the position of borough clerk slash business administrator. Um, I expect us to have a very short uh, executive session at the uh, conclusion of this meeting as well concerning contract negotiations. Um, and I'll ask one of the council members to make a motion to do that. Uh, it shouldn't take more than 10 or 15 minutes. Um, no action on the work session will be taken this evening. If we could all rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. And to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Kelly, go ahead and take the roll, please. Mayor Driver? Here, kind of. Ms. Han? Also here, kind of. Mr. Johnston? Here. Mr. Long? Here. Mr. Parker is excused. Ms. Rossetti? Here. Ms. Tilly? Oh, I'm here. Alrighty. Okay, good evening. You'll notice tonight we're kind of a truly a hybrid uh, in person and remote meeting. Uh, number of uh, various sickness, family members sick, myself, I'm quite have been uh, struggling with pneumonia. Um, so unfortunately, I am down for the count for now. And uh, I will have uh, my camera off and my microphone off for much of the meeting. However, I'm here and that's just to spare you the horrible sound of a lung coming up as I start to cough. Uh, I have a very brief uh, mayor's report this evening. Uh, everybody should have received postcards to come to Borough Hall and pick up two bags per household of our lovely reusable shopping bags that we had uh, printed up using uh, clean community grant money, which was uh, one of the uh, uses, uh, permitted uses for that clean community grant money is to buy things like reusable shopping bags. And that's what we chose to do this year with that money, given the uh, bat plastic bag ban that is now in effect throughout the state of New Jersey. Uh, so if you could come and pick those up, I can see them on the camera back there. We're waiting for people to come. Um, last Friday, myself and the borough engineer, Jerry Harris, had a meeting with our leg Trenton Legislative District 16 representatives. That was uh, Senator Andrew Zwicker, uh, his staff members, as well as Assemblywoman Sadef, um, Sadef um, Jaffer and her staff member, and I believe there was a staff member there from uh, Senator Prime, or excuse me, Assemblyman Fryman's office as well. We talked about some funding requests that the borough has regarding infrastructure and other things as the state's working on their budget. Uh, I attended the Fireman's Women's uh, Banquet last Saturday. It was a week ago Saturday. It was quite lovely. Um, I also attended uh, the NAACP in, uh, of Huntington County inaugural meeting last Sunday. It was quite good. And DIY ribbon cutting as well last Saturday. It was a busy weekend around Flemington um, last weekend. So I hope everybody was able to get out and see stuff on that first really lovely spring, spring weekend. It was quite nice. Um, we could go ahead and start with uh, Jess Hand, who's also remote this evening. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, I have a very short report. Uh, last Monday, we had an environmental commission meeting. Um, we did do a hybrid meeting, but I was the only one in Borough Hall. So uh, so that was, I, we pulled it off, but it was, uh, it was difficult. Um, we talked about some sustainable Jersey items and doing more events to get more people involved in the environmental commission. And that is it for me. Okay, next up is uh, Councilman Johnston. Hi, man. Thank you. Um, <clears throat> from the shade tree, uh, every, oh, excuse me, 
on Arbor Day went well. Uh, there was a new teacher, Haley, uh, Harley, uh, Wayne Wright, uh, who was a big help with the planted tree. And uh, we chose the tree, we paid for it, and we had to deliver it. I believe that was April 28th. Um, the hazmat trees are being updated. Um, Shade Tree is also looking to secure a table at the 4-H County Fair coming up. And we also, I also wanted to give a shout out to the new volunteer, Jane Cannon. You're doing an <laughs> awesome job. Um, the Mother's Day event that was scheduled for the 7th, it was terrible weather. I think there was some sort of warning fund and kind of, if I'm not mistaken or something. Um, but it was rescheduled to next Saturday, the 14th. And Donna uh, Guthrie and Julia Whitley and Kelly Dutch, Dutcherman uh, did an awesome job moving everything around. The turnout was about 25 people. Uh, they took home pots to paint in color. Uh, we want to give a special thank you to ShopBright for donating $200 for refreshments. Um, don't forget the yoga classes have started uh, on Tuesdays at 6.30. The instructor's name is Ava. Um, last week, we had a turnout of 13 people, which is awesome. So I'm looking forward to going myself tomorrow. <laughs> um, so hopefully I'll see some of the people in the backyard. Um, that's all I have. Thank you. Next up is uh, Council President Jeremy Long. Okay, good evening, everybody. Um, I have several things here tonight. As far as the police department, uh, they just want to remind people that the Memorial Day Parade will have multiple street closures. Um, and that would be North Main Street at Hopewell, East Main Street at Jersey Ave, Pennsylvania Avenue at Broad, Bloomfield Ave at Broad Street, Maple Ave at Broad, William Street at Broad, Broad Street between William and Route 12, Church Street, Route 31, and Brown Street. Main Street between the Main Street Circle, the Monument, uh, Mine Street at Park Avenue, and then Kapner at Park Avenue. On May 11th, I attended the 200 Club of Hunter County Awards Center at the dinner. Corporal Brian McNally and Patrolman Frank Manuel were presented with meritorious service awards for performing CPR on a car accident victim back in 2019. Uh, they ended up you know, stabilizing him and he was, uh, he survived that. Also receiving awards were Marvin Danilo Agueta, Daniel Calix, and Franklin Calix at the Hunter Hills Apartments Complex. They saved a fellow resident um, from a burning apartment. Um, despite, you know, the danger, they, they walked, they ran in there and, and got the, broke his door down and got him out of there. So those were some distinguished uh, honors uh, that evening. It was great to be there and see that. On Sunday, a rally was held in town regarding uh, abortion rights. The rally lasted about an hour and everything went well. There were no issues. And I'd like to thank all involved for their work planning and maintaining the event. Our police department is also is always prepared for these kinds of events and should be commended on always handling the finer details associated with any rally, protest, or demonstration that takes take place in the borough. As of this week, bike patrol is a go. Officers will be patrolling on bicycles. So you see that you should see them uh, around and about. FCP uh, is proud to announce they have the most jam-packed spring and summer calendar ever due to new events uh, from new businesses and a return to uh, past events. You can check out the uh, loveflemington.com website and events to see what's going on. Uh, to search by date or type event, uh, type or type of date, I'm sorry, to search by date or type of event, you can search them on that. You can search, I apologize. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Search the website. I don't know why I'm having trouble speaking tonight. We have free yoga classes starting tonight and tomorrow night and on Saturday morning and free dog walks on Wednesdays. Come join the fun. We have a sensational calendar of events this uh, Memorial Day holiday weekend. Join us for our first Thursday night out, night out with the Summer Swing Orchestra from 5.30 to 8.30, weather permitting. Do check out the website again for rain updates later this week. Um, uh, the rain date for that is July 21st. Sorry. This weekend is the Act Two Summer Book Festival and Fine Artisans Fair. Tons of other events from Thursday to Monday, including the annual parade.
Parade, as I mentioned before. The car show returns to Main Street on June 5th, always exciting. Uh, we've moved our annual stakeholder event to Wednesday, June, June 22nd, more to follow. Civic engagement, uh, this week I will be viewing a kickoff event from the New Jersey Alliance for Civic Engagement. I hope to take what I learned and use it to help get our own civic engagement committee up and running. I want to thank my fellow council member, Tony Parker, for offering to assist me in this endeavor. I anticipate quite a bit of work getting done this summer, and that is my report. Thank you. I forgot something. Thank you. Next up is uh, Elizabeth Rossetti. Thank you, Mayor. Um, I'm excited to hear about all these great events going on, but personally, I don't have anything to share tonight. Um, so I think Malik said he had something he forgot. So let's go back to him. Okay, Malik. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I also was at the NAACP inauguration. Um, I'm a founding member of this new chapter. Um, and I also was at the DIY as well. And that was really awesome to see everybody come out uh, from the community. Excellent. Now I'm done. Thank you. Next up is uh, Councilwoman Kim Tilly. On the 10th, I had a fire officers meeting where I spoke about new fire apparatus that is desperately needed. I also attended the fire department ladies night. That was a fun time had by all. The 17th, I had a DBW meeting where we talked about uh, everybody else see the street sweeping signs are out again. It's that time to street sweep. Uh, a couple of catch basins were rebuilt on Broad Street. We we're having some traffic issues that DPW committee wants uh, investigated. Um, then the 17th was followed, followed by a Liberty Village redevelopment meeting. The 18th, I had an HPC meeting. Oh, uh, back to DPW. If you put out any bulk items for last Friday's bulk pickup without a bulk sticker, it was not picked up. It needs to be removed or disposed of. The borough will not be doing that. Um, Jeremy said that Monday, May 30th, is the Memorial Day Parade, and that's going to run from Church Street to the Monument on Veterans Way. And I look forward to attending the Music on Main on Thursday, the 26th, from 5 30 to 8 30. And that is it for me. Excellent. Thank you. That brings us to our first public comment session. If you are a member of the public and they're here and would like to speak, is there anybody in the audience? I see nobody on the uh, west side of the room. Is there anybody else on the other side? Ricky's here. I'm just saying hi. <laughs> <laughs> Not saying anything. Sorry. <laughs> um, and if you're online and would like to speak, you can click on the raise hand icon. And I don't see anybody phoning in. Okay. Seeing none, we'll move on. If we could have a motion to approve the minutes of the May 9, 2022 regular council meeting. Tell me a move. Long second. All right, Ms. Hand. Abstain. Uh, Mr. Johnston? Yes. Mr. Long? Yes. Ms. Rossetti? Yes. Ms. Tilly? Yes. Okay, that passes. Um, how about um, somebody make a motion on the okay. yeah, second yeah, session? I, have it. I just had to move for a second. A motion Sorry. to approve the minute to the May 9, 2022 executive, executive uh, session. Tilly will move. Long a second. Ms. Hand? Yes. Mr. Johnston? Yes. Mr. Long? Yes. Ms. Rosetti? Yes. Ms. Tilly? Yes. Next up is uh, the consent agenda. We do have six items on there. We could have a make a motion to approve the consent agenda. Tilly will move. Long a second. Anybody want anything pulled out? Sally, go ahead and call the vote. Ms. Hands? Yes. Mr. Johnston? Yes. Mr. Long? Yes. Ms. Rossetti? Yes. Ms. Silly? Yes. All right, that's approved. That brings us to our regular agenda. The first uh, item is first reading ordinance 2022-7. 
This is an ordinance to amend the code of the borough of Flemington by adding section 2-30, establishing a community emergency response team, also known as the CERT. Kim? Kelly will move. Oh, do you want me to talk about it? After we had, after it's on the floor, yeah. Hold a second. <laughs> but I figured you'd want to move it. Kim, you want to give us just the uh, Cliff Notes version as to uh, for this? Yeah, the CERT team is a new team that is um, established in the borough to assist with the emergency responders. Um, how do we respond? It would be like when the there was a fire at the apartments. Um, CERT would be able to either help organize. Uh, the residents were displaced or help with traffic control. Um, yeah, support. just support somehow with um, the first responders in town, really. Um, if there's a land search for a missing person, search usually um, called for that. One of CERT's functions is to set up a shelter if and when needed. You know, that would again fall with the fire that they had. The people were displaced, so start with, with set up the shelter. Um, we also help with traffic management during parades and such. Doesn't necessarily stay within the borough. Um, the borough team will help other teams that are needed or in need in Hunter and County, as well as Hunter and County's other teams would come to the borough to help us, like they are doing for the Memorial Day. Thank you. Yes. Sally, if you'd call a vote on the first reading. Hmm. Ms. Hand? Yes. Mr. Johnston? Yes. Mr. Long? Yes. Ms. Rosetti? Yes. Ms. Tilly? Tara, do I need to abstain since I am one of the members, the initial members of the CERT, of the CERT team? Uh, no. Oh, okay, so. then yes. Okay, that's introduced. The public hearing on that ordinance will be at the next council meeting, which is June 13th. June 13th. Excellent. Next up is resolution 2022-134, authorizing the closing of Stangle Road from Church to Mine. Stangle Road doesn't intersect with Church Street. I guess technically it does. <laughs> That's not a public road though. Um, from uh, Church Street to Mine Street from 4 p.m. to 10 p.m. on September 17, 2022. Yeah, that's actually not Church Street, so we may want to reword that. Tara, can they just make that 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 change? And I don't know if we want to call it Church. It's technically not. Uh, you can uh, make the, the motion a second for the resolution, and within that, make a motion to amend. I don't know what to call it, then. I'm sorry, Betsy. So I'm not quite sure what to call it. Central Station, isn't it? No, it's that little extension off of Church Street. That's the entrance into Liberty Village. That's that little connector. Oh, there. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I guess you can call it Church. This is what we've no, called it in the past, so I don't okay. know. Okay. Is there a map attached to the resolution? Well, it's not attached to the resolution. I was attached to the permit. Well, you can just amend it to say as reflected in the permit application. Okay, so that's a minor. All right. Okay. All right, Tilly will move. Long Thank second. You. Do I need to abstain because I volunteered with that? No. Okay. Tilly, go ahead and call the vote. All right, Ms. Hand? Yes. Mr. Johnston? Yes. Mr. Long? Yes. Ms. Rossetti? Yes. Ms. Tilly? Yes. All right, that's approved. Okay. Next up is resolution 2022-135. This is authorizing agreements with CME Associates for three traffic analysis. If we could have a motion. Tilly, I'll move. Long second. Excellent. So um, the Public Works Committee has asked um, 
our traffic engineer, which is with CMA, to study three areas around town. Um, church, or excuse me, Broad Street between Church and Route 12 to consider uh, putting in some no parking areas there. We, we, we have a bottleneck situation there. It causes line of sight issues. Um, it also causes emergency vehicle response issues because people park on both sides of the road and narrows it down and only one car can pass and it's a little bit of a traffic concern. So that study is going to look at uh, how much of that one, how much and what side of the road we should consider doing a no parking on on that road. It pop, probably be the west side, but don't take my word for it. That's going to be up to the traffic engineer. The other one is at um, uh, whether or not Corcoran, you know, we've been trying to do work on Corcoran. We're trying to rebuild that street with infrastructure, water and sewer, uh, new pavement, curbing and sidewalk. So we're having a real problem with that. The engineer is having some design issues in that area. Uh, and it has to do with the narrow street. So we thought maybe if we were to make that a one way street, um, it could help the design and help us rebuild that street so that it's a, I mean, it, 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 it's in really bad shape. If you've been on Corcoran lately, you know, and part of that's just because the difficulty in uh, doing that work there. Uh, that one, and then there's a third one. Kim, help me out here. What was the third one? I had uh, William Street for Stangle. Oh, uh, crosswalks on Stangle, yes. So then there's going to be, we want to put some mid mid block crosswalks in on Stangle, down near the brewery, probably somewhere on DIY as well. And we have to do a traffic study on that because the state DOT frowns upon uh, mid block crosswalks. So when we go to the DOT with our crosswalk request, uh, we have the evidence to back it up as, as a public safety issue. And it is a public safety issue. As you know, when you've been on Stangle, there's um, we're lacking in crosswalks there and there should have been more put in when that road was redone, but there wasn't. So we can only move forward and fix what we have at this point. Are there any questions on that? Sally, go ahead and call the vote. Ms. Hand? Yes. Mr. Johnston? Yes. Mr. Long? Yes. Ms. Rossetti? Yes. Ms. Tilly? Yes. All right, that's approved. Next up is resolution 2022-136, authorizing an agreement with CME Associates for engineering services for the William Street Improvement Projects from Broad to Elwood Avenue. If we could have a motion. Chile, I'll move. Along a second. Any discussion? Sally, go ahead and call the uh, vote. Ms. Hands? Yes. Mr. Johnston? Yes. Mr. Long? Yes. Ms. Rossetti? Yes. Ms. Tilly? Yes. Okay, that's approved. Okay. Uh, next up is resolution 2022-137, authorizing a street closure on Fulper Road for a summer siesta community event on June 11, 2022. If we could have a motion. Tilly, a motion. Handle second. second. So if you'd call, is there any other comments or questions on that? Sally, go ahead and call the vote. Ms. Hand? Yes. Mr. Johnston? Yes. Mr. Long? Yes. Ms. Rossetti? Yes. Ms. Tilly? Yes. All right, that's approved. Excellent, that brings us to our second public comment session. Yeah, a member of the public who would like to make a comment, you can step up to the microphone. If you're online watching us, you can raise your hand by clicking on the raise hand icon. Mr. 
I'm seeing seeing none, let's go ahead and move on. Do we have an attorney's report? Um, <clears throat> yes, very short. Um, we'll have two matters for executive session at the end, um, just because they came up pretty much on, on Friday, Thursday and Friday of uh, last week. Um, I finally heard back from Comcast on the cable franchise ordinance, so we can talk about what Comcast uh, came back with, and then also further discussions on possible property acquisition by the borough. And then the other thing is, um, if you see uh, Mike Campion or Jerry Harris, our engineer from CMA, um, give them a big high five. They were able to figure out a very complicated issue involving um, the refurbishment of the water tower with cell equipment on it. Um, they worked with the cell companies, with the tank contractor, and they figured out a solution where the facilities can stay on the tank. They paint around them. They only have to be down for a few hours. It's cost effective for everybody. And it was really just Mike and Jerry's hard work and sticking with it to get, uh, you know, to get it there. And they were able to get everybody to, to work together on this. So I think it's a real, um, it's a real benefit to the borough, to the cell companies. It's, it is a fantastic result that I didn't envision it turning out this mm -hmm. wonderfully, but I think because of the, <laughs> the professionals that the borough has with Jerry and Mike, it, it really was a great outcome. And that's all I have. Good, thank you. Uh, could we have a motion to pay some bills? Tilly, I'll move. Final second. second. Ms. Hand? Yes. Mr. Johnston? Yes. Mr. Long? Yes. <clears throat> Ms. Rosetti? Yes. Ms. Tilly? Yes. All right, that's approved. Excellent. Um, can we have a motion to go into executive session, please, to discuss contract negotiations regarding Comcast as well as property acquisition? Tilly, I'll move. Just for the record, no, no action will be taken. No, no action will be taken. Thank you. Um, okay, Ms. Hand? Yes. Mr. Johnson? Yes. Mr. Long? Yes. Ms. Rossetti? Yes. Ms. Tilly? Yes. All right, we are going to be going into executive session at 7.57 p.m. Have a good night. See you, Ricky. I'm going to stop the recording or yeah, pause the recording. I don't think that meeting was locked. It's not locked now. Chris's. I don't know, it says seven participants. I don't know who, I only see six bubbles. I don't know. No, there's an attendee. Oh. Um, so good evening, welcome back. Uh, we were coming out of executive session and um, you wanna open the door? Yeah. There's nobody here. Okay. Uh, no action will be taken on the items discussed in executive session. Who would have a motion to adjourn? No, you'll move. I will second. All in favor, say aye. 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 Anybody aye. opposed? Aye. All right, we are adjourned. Yeah, so Sally, I had locked it and maybe, I don't know if you went in and unlocked it. I thought I locked it and then I got up to go close the door. So maybe we just crossed or could it have been no, because that computer's still going. It's just the TV is off. Yeah. I, I don't know, Betsy. I think we might have canceled each other out on that. <laughs> Mysteries. Yeah, have a good evening, everyone. Do you feel better? Thank you. Uh -huh.